Ah, it's been way too long since I've heard that intro. Welcome back, Waddlers. How's it going? It's me, your boy, Waddles, here. Hope you're doing well. Welcome back to the Minecraft Guide, episode 91. It's finally here. It's been a while. It's, it's definitely been a minute. So today we're back over in the nether, and we're actually going to continue work on the wither farm to get it fully functional. I have one more big step that I need to do, and that is really upping its productivity and then connecting it to the nether hub. I figured we might as well just do that now while we're working on the farm and while we've been talking about it, instead of just coming back to it later and doing it, that would be kind of random. Also, I'm kind of hoping to get more wither skulls from this thing so then we can spawn a wither and so I can make some of the other farms that I'd like to make uh, sooner rather than later. So that means today's episode is gonna be kind of an interesting one. It's, it'll be done a little bit differently. So uh, first off, we have all of these materials left over from the last episode when we actually built the bulk of this wither farm. Now the farm down here is pretty much unchanged aside from one pretty big thing that I, I have to show you guys right here in the beginning. Now one tip that I forgot to mention at the end of the last episode when we finished this thing is uh, to use this thing, go into third person so then you can kind of see around, right? That way you don't have to like glance over the walls because remember when you're in this thing you shouldn't be jumping. But here's the big change. Oh yeah, <laughs> two brand new wither skulls in between episodes while using this thing, that is absolutely amazing. So that means from the last episode, we have a grand total of three new wither skulls. That is one more wither that we can spawn in and one more beacon that we can get, but that's just not quite enough. So we need to improve this thing. The first step of improving this farm is definitely removing more of the nether fortress. So we have this amazing farm built over here, but uh, over here we have a lot of nether fortress. I've been pulling more out slowly, uh, but yeah, there's a lot of this nether fortress here, and that is absolutely destroying the rates of our farm. So I'll be inside of that farm, and if I cheat and jump a little bit and look out of the windows, I can literally see wither skeletons just idling around over here on these bridges, and that's a big problem. So we need to start there. Start by removing this nether fortress. At least I'm, I'm hoping these two bridges and then a lot of this bridge over here today. Now, uh, I've also been going over onto land and removing land too. Not all of it, but a lot of it. Initially, this whole island where the lava is spilling over, that thing went way out. You can see my clean line right there where I just kind of decided to stop ripping the land out. And then things like this island up here. This is an isolated island above two bridges on... Oh, no, 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 excuse me. Excuse me. We're busy here. We're, we're doing some talking. This is an isolated island above two nether bridges, and this is the exact thing that you would want to completely remove. There's absolutely no point in keeping this island here. It is only hurting our rates. So I think we'll start by removing this island. We'll start at the far end, and then I'm going to go ahead and continue to remove more of the nether fortress. Uh, that means I have a lot of work to do and not a lot of things to say. So I think this is the perfect opportunity for a little Q&A time lapse it's been way too long again so uh, you know the deal I put out a tweet on Twitter I ask for your questions and then I go ahead and answer them in this next segment right here so I hope you guys enjoy the time lapse I hope you guys enjoy the questions and let's go ahead and get moving on today's project and blaze you you can go away you, you you're nice to meet you but goodbye Alright, Q&A time lapse beginning just about now. The first question is from my boy, Whoop Diddy Scoop. The question is, do you enjoy horror games or movies or the horror genre in general? And yes, I like spooky movies, spooky shows. I just finished watching on Netflix, actually, The Haunting of Hill House, which was pretty spooky, really interesting show. Uh, don't watch it if you, if you don't like spooky things. Question number two is from Neff. The question is, would you like to see a more magical and lore-based Minecraft updates such as spells and magical weapons um, and Lingonberry G Fuel. So the G Fuel, that stuff's really good. The Lingonberry is definitely a 10 out of 10. I love berry flavors though, so I'm kind of biased. And a magical and lore based update, I think that could be really, really cool. I'd love to see maybe like an enchanting system like upgrade or revamp one day because I mean, it's cool, but like 
I don't know. I, I feel like eventually it would be nice to see something new added in. I don't know what it could be, but yeah, maybe that would be really cool. And then lore, lore is always fun. I feel like I had a Minecraft lore series. Huh? <laughs> Kyber asks, what YouTuber inspired you the most to make a channel? And that's a really good question, but unfortunately, I can't really answer it because there's no single one YouTuber that would be unfair to the other ones. There's like a bunch of people like PewDiePie, Mumbo Jumbo, of course, and just so, so many other people. Extreme Gamer 59 asks, do I have any pets IRL? And unfortunately, no right now, but if I did have one, it would be a dog. And then if I had another one, it would be a cat named Robert that I would never lose ever be because I would never, I would never lose a, to a cat. No, not even in my, no. Uh, moving on to the next question. My guy, Andrew Lyon asks, what other new biomes are you hoping to see added into the nether? Um, and this is, I guess, uh, aside from the nether war forests and the soul sand valley, I'd love to see some kind of improved cave system with like a better ore or something. I think I talked about it in one of the videos that I made, maybe on like the nether update. But yeah, I'd like to see a special ore added into the nether. And to mine this ore, you need to use a new pickaxe made out of that ore that you have to get from the piglins by trading with them. I think that would be really, really cool cool so definitely like a new cave system type that would be really cool also i'd like to see some sort of biome down by the lava ocean like like a lava islands area that could be really really cool as well mcpe for the beacon is wondering if i'm in favor of pre-releases for the bedrock edition before a release officially releases to fix last minute bugs and definitely so when bedrock 1.13 finally came out it, it was good but then uh, people started finding bugs and then the bugs started popping up for like everyone and that was harsh and unfortunately something like that is just kind of going to happen when there's a game that's getting updates but i feel like a pre-release before an official release would be a really good idea at least to help squash some of the bugs. Aiden asks the always curious question of redstone or building and unfortunately I am on team building but kind of technically maybe not like I want to build farms and buildings but redstone is really really useful for the farming aspect so I don't know probably building but just by a little bit. Domin M asks, how long have I been doing YouTube? And I've been doing YouTube for like two and a half years, really. I've had this channel for that long and uh, I really only count that I've actually been doing it for more like two years because in those first few months, I was kind of just putting random videos up and things like that. But yeah, like two and a half years or, or two years at this point. And last but not least for today's Q&A time lapse is a question from William. Uh, the question is, when are you going to be doing tutorial videos on guide world builds? And you know, I actually have a build tutorial ready to put out. It's not on a guide build, but I just haven't put it out yet. I don't know why, but if you guys want more tutorials on some of the guide world builds, just let me know and I can absolutely do that. I've only seen it requested like a few times and yeah, I don't know. I just kind of forget about it. But if that's what the gamers want, then the gamers should just let me know in the comments on the subreddit somewhere, maybe Twitter, and maybe I can make that happen. But with all of that, that is going to do it for today's Q&A time lapse. Thank you everybody for asking the questions and let's slide back over into unfortunately the spooky scary nether oh man you guys this has been about the scariest experience that i've had in this world in a long long time it, it's something about being over lava constantly in a set of armor that definitely can't protect you from this stuff yeah th that's kind of terrifying um <laughs> <laughs> very, very nerve-wracking, to say the least. Now, I did decide that we'll stop removing the fortress right where I've kind of stopped digging things out. I'll explain that in a minute, but I just have a little bit more work to do. Now, seriously, this has been such a long project. It's been a couple hours, and it's it's not even really fully done. I still have, like, a lot of land around here that I would need to block as well, which... I'm thinking about doing definitely, but just not, not right now. I'm trying to move the project along a little bit. I have a lot more nether brick though, which is really cool because in the next step that we're going to do, um, we're going to need a lot more nether brick, like, like a lot, I, I guess for the next two steps, actually, I need a lot of nether brick for this stuff, but I'm going to go ahead and finish up this last part here. And then we'll start talking about the next step of this build. 
All right, so the fortress is finally removed for the most part. There's a little bit more over there, but you don't see any of that. So the next part. Now, that's our farm over there. This is where we are. I think I mentioned in the last episode that I definitely want to connect the farm up to this part of the nether fortress and maybe even have the farm extend beyond that part. I'm not too sure if we'll do that because um, it might not be necessary, but we definitely need to expand the platform that we set up in the last episode a little bit if you remember the last episode to use this farm we run back and forth inside of this thing and let spawns and despawns happen but mob spawns won't happen within 24 blocks of the player as it stands this farm is I think something like 70 blocks long and that's good but it could definitely be better so I think if we can extend the length of this farm by like say 32 blocks or maybe even 64 then we'd get even better rates than we have currently so that means I need to do everything that I I talked about last episode over again and basically uh, almost doubled the size of this farm it looks like we have a lot of spawns inside of the thing now which is really good but I need it to be longer the longer this farm gets the the better it gets at least kind of I'm also going to try and try to remove that floating island right there I don't know about the really low one way way down there but this one at least partially can definitely go away now a little scared to do that but I think it'll be okay oh man <laughs> the gasps are the the worst thing in the world I'll tell you guys that um absolutely terrifying i'm trying to block spawns over there too and they just keep spawning and shooting at me which is is um a little not welcoming unwelcoming it's just really really scary i'm sorry chicken jockey you're gonna have to go away in a minute uh but do i try and get that somehow hmm because see i could jump I could clean jump like this. Boom, we land there, then we place the block so we can stand. Oh yeah, we can remove this. This is easy. We'll, we'll get rid of this right now. I think it's floating above the lava. I can't tell. Are, is this land floating? Are you floating? Yes, you are floating. That's good. Um, help. <laughs> uh, I, I didn't think about this part. Um, <laughs> how am I going to do this? I think I can go up and then like over a little bit and then go back and remove this stuff. Yeah, that's the way to do it. <laughs> didn't think about getting out of this spot. Oh no, Blaze, not now. Not now, Blaze. No, 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 no. <laughs> this is the worst time for a Blaze to spawn. No, please, Blaze, not, not now. I am almost done over here. Goodbye, chicken jockey. I'm sorry, chicken. The pigman will live, though. And I hear a guest. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I've got my platform just about done. I have a small hole over here, and then I have a little bit of like an extension to put on. I figured I'll go all the way to the end of this spot right here just because, I mean, I might as well, right? It's only like six or seven more blocks, so uh, that's what I'm thinking. After this, I brought my stone cutter, and I'm gonna throw a roof on this portion, and then, unfortunately, probably tear down that whole um, farming area because that's gonna have to move. But I uh, will talk a little bit more about that in a minute. I just have to finish all of this up. I should have enough glass here in the nether. I brought a lot last episode, so I don't think I'll have to go back to the overworld for anything. I brought, I think I even have enough pots to finish this whole thing off. All right, so some time later, floor check, windows check, and ceiling check. All of that stuff is done, and that means it's time to go ahead and reset up our end grinding area, but something huge happened. Uh, take a look at that, two brand new wither skeleton skulls. I got those while actually building the expansion. In fact, I think both of those skulls came from wither skeletons that spawned literally in the expansion bit over here. So I left the walls over where the old wall kind of ended so we can kind of see you know basically when we expand this thing if i expand it again i'll do the same thing i'll leave the walls there and i'll expand it even more now uh there's a lot of stuff in this chest we're gonna leave that there for now this wall can go away and i need
need a lot of pots uh, because we need to put those all down the middle and then I need to make a bunch of staircases too and put those all down the middle as well to keep myself safe and then all of these fences and this stuff that just needs to move right down to the other end I did go ahead and already built this whole pop-up expansion thing on the other side I don't know what I'm gonna do with this piece here I might just rip it out probably I don't really need it there anymore but yeah things are definitely working out so far I'm loving this farm this is absolutely amazing and it's gonna get us a lot of wither skulls I can tell already I mean already in two episodes time I've gotten like six or seven which is pretty good and oh boy once I finish this expansion I think things are only going to get better spawns are being cut out from the outside world so they should start to get even more concentrated inside of this thing which is a good thing that is exactly what we're hoping for Ah, in this staircase right here, this thing, I'm going to have to climb this thing and remove it entirely because I don't need it any longer. If this thing stays here, this is technically more spawnable space, so the whole staircase actually needs to go away, like, entirely. Now, I think I'll leave the hallway for now. We'll probably come back and block spawns inside of that thing, but yeah, this whole staircase, this is pretty much pointless now. There is no need for it, so I'm going to go ahead and just remove it right now. Alright, so this end is done. Everything should be good to go, I think, unless I mess something up, but the farm is long. Like, this is a, a quite a big build now, and that's gonna kind of be a problem. Imagine if a wither skeleton spawned way down at that end. That means I would have to walk slowly all the way down to this end of the farm to kill the wither skeleton, and that's not really desirable. That's going to make this thing kind of a pain to use. So, uh, well, with all that being said, I think that means we need to add probably another one of these areas down on the other end of this farm and then make a new way into this thing. So adding an entrance to this thing is actually a little more complicated than you might think. If we just put a, like, a ladder on the side and then we went up it, the blaze would actually see us and then be aggravated the whole time I'm over here, which is definitely not desirable. Alright, anyways, we need to add another killing area down at this end of the farm to make it nice and easy to use. So the first part is really straightforward. We do the same setup with the hoppers and everything, same setup with the stairs, and then the same thing with the ceiling. Only this time we're kind of in luck because we're not in the open nether. We're inside of some land mass here, so we don't really need to worry about any kind of like glass window pop-out area. We can literally just make room for the wither skeletons to walk up to the top area. So this all has to go, um... Is that good? Um, I don't know if a wither skeleton will be able to... Yeah, we might need to go one more like this. All right, so something that looks like this should work. I think this is exactly the same as the other end, only, again, inside of a landmass this time. Now our exit. The exit is going to be kind of tricky, so I think for our exit we'll use scaffolding. Scaffolding could be cool, and we'll go up, like, right over here. I think that'll be fine. Now, the only thing here is if mobs see us when we're exiting, then they're going to be mad. So that means I think we're going to want to fully encase this on all of these sides, of course, so nothing can see us over here. But this whole area over here, that's a big problem. So I think what we want to do is probably pull this staircase out and this one as well and then go up here so we have even less room. And then uh, I think we do block, block, block there and then... I guess we can just continue this maybe down to the floor this time in here. So so then nothing can see us when we go in and out, right? I think that's good. I mean, if something sees me here, then it's kind of like, uh, I don't know what would be going on. I think that should work, though. Hmm. The only question is, is this going to mess up with the Wither Skeleton's pathfinding, like following me? Uh, you guys, you're the test subjects. Come over here. Hey, all of you, all of you, yes, yeah, 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 follow me, I've got something cool to show you down here, it's, um, it, it's not, it's not your death, no, what, what do you mean, why would you say that, no, 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 I promise, we're friends, you see, I'm walking right with you, all right, so does this work, I don't see why it wouldn't, um, yeah, yeah, yeah that works, okay, that's what I thought, that should work fine the exit of this farm so we'll go ahead and continue that down like that and then we'll go up here and then this whole thing needs to actually continue all the way up to wherever we're gonna build our rail line over here that is the final step of today's episode we need to link this up to our nether hub because otherwise I am probably just not gonna use it so let's go ahead and just dig out of here and then I think we'll work our way 
where am I? <laughs> um, maybe I should just go back and keep going up. But this is going to need to be filled in. Oh, boy. All right. This is not working. You know what? I have a better idea. Let's just... Let's... Hold on. I need to, I need to undo all of this. All right, so yeah, coordinates are a thing, and they're really, really helpful for these kinds of projects. So here's where the road will be, and then right here is the entrance to our farm. So pretending like we're going to go ahead and use the thing, we'll just go down the scaffolding, and then eventually we'll hit the bottom and we'll be inside of the farm. Then we can go ahead and move up and down the thing and blaze. No, 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 you gotta go away. Uh, but we can move up and down the thing and farm all of the wither skeleton skulls that we need to farm. So yeah, that's it. I think that's everything for today's build. Other than, of course, the ice road linking up to this build. So now it's time to go ahead and get that thing in. I'm thinking about doing another fortress design with this road. So that should be pretty easy. Lots of nether bricks and then lots of nether brick fences. But... Uh, I think I should go ahead and focus in. Wish me luck. This shouldn't be too hard. And I'll get back with you guys in just a minute. Oh, right. So it's not quite the end of the episode, but I am in the overworld probably for the last time in this episode. So I figured we'd do the comment of the day now. Then I'll go and show you the finished project or or uh, what I'm about to finish. So comment of the day today, episode 91. The comment is from Vodka K. The comment is, holy cow, just noticed 10 episodes left for the world tour. 100 minutes, yay. And yes, big yay. I am super, super excited for the world tour. I love doing tours and showing off things and then just talking about like, you know, what I was thinking when I was working on something and then just kind of looking back in a way, like even though it's only bad been like four months or five or six months whatever but yeah i am so excited for the world tour too and yeah there will be a world download as well whenever i do the tour so it might be on 100 it might be before don't know yet um but yep i am super excited for that but now it's time for me to slide back over into the nether and finish up the ice road i have the whole tunnel done but i need to put the ice in now so here goes nothing All right, so the ice road is freshly finished. First, let's go ahead and go down into the farm. I did a little bit of renovating, but really not too much. I, I'll show it off anyways, but here we go. So when we go down into the farm, we have kind of this loading room. This room is actually a little unfinished. I forgot to do the ceiling there. We'll go ahead and fix that really quick. All right, there we go. Much better. All nether bricky and spooky. Then if we continue going down, we are boom right inside of the farm. And it seems the spawns are already starting to kick up inside of this thing, which is really, really cool. Now, again, we have a grinding platform down here where we can kill things and then one way at the other end as well. And then to use it, we just run back and forth. When we're done, we'll go ahead and go up this thing and then over to our brand new tunnel, which I need to show you because I am really, really happy with how it turned out. So I went with the whole nether fortress feel. I did arches in here, uh, just simple ones, and then tons of fences, tons of nether brick, lots of ice as well, and then a nether rack ceiling. So there's a few stopping spots. Well, I guess there's that end, the other end, and then right here. So I have a lot of stuff that I need to move out of here. Uh, I still have quite a bit of nether brick, lots and lots of nether rack, and then random stuff as well. So I figured I'd just kind of leave this here for now. This is the old entrance. I'm working on slabbing it off down there so spawns don't happen. And then this way goes over to the nether hub, but the view is so cool. I just love how the nether looks. I definitely am really excited for the nether to look better, but yeah, it just looks pretty pretty cool right now but i think that is i think just about it for today's episode and the wither farm it should be running real nicely now we have a couple more wither skulls than we had at the beginning of the episode and i'm probably gonna have more at the beginning of next episode hopefully if if everything goes well but with all of that being said, my name is Waddles. Thank you very much for watching. I'd like to send a special thank you, a big shout out to my patron Stuffy today. Thank you for the support and thanks everybody for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, and goodbye. I'll see you in the next one, gamers. Goodbye.